Hello Enchanted Ones. Hello Enchanted Ones, welcome back to a rather different video today. Hello, this is probably going to be one of those videos that is very very different to all my other videos. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about myself, a little bit more about the woods that I live in and just a few kind of interesting facts. Oh and I do have a DIY video that I'm actually going to be putting in this one and I'm very excited to show you that too and the whole process behind it. So let's start by telling you a little bit more about myself. So hi, my name is Alwyn. I am 28 years old and I live in the south of England. I guess you could say I've always felt somewhat of an odd soul. I never really fitted in with my surroundings or my friends. I always remember when I was younger, I was used to love being alone. I used to love playing by myself in the playground at school and that kind of progressed when I was older and I always had these like crazy phases like I went through my gothic phase, my scene phase, uh, an emo phase and even a golf phase which is interesting. Uh, <laughs> so I always had this kind of crazy creativity that I showed through what I wore and also programs like The Sims that I used to play on and I've never really grown out of that. I love being creative and that's just something that I thrive upon and something that I've always thrived upon. So the moment that changed my life was when I was 22 and I remember it so well because I was actually on a bus at the time and I looked out the window and I just remember seeing nature outside and obviously I've always known nature has always been there but I was just very overwhelmed by the nature and the colours and the beauty of it all. That led me to have so many questions about the world and about nature like why do leaves grow? Why is colour colour about the moon phases and just scientific kind of things and after I looked into that I also researched more about spirituality and about different frequencies and vibrations and it really, really resonated with me. And now I'm 28, I call myself a pagan and I'm really, really into things like art magic, herbalism, just being a general forest elf. <laughs> and I just love using my creativity and expressing my emotions and really putting intent into all of my work. So when you see my crafting videos, you know, I'll be putting intent into those crafts that I create. I also do art magic in which I put intent into drawings and paintings that I'll do and I'll show you that one day. So that is something you might not have known about me. So next let's talk about the wood or the enchanted wood that I live in and it's interesting actually because I've actually lived <laughs> in this wood for 10 years although I've only known about the woods for one year and the reason why I'll, I'll kind of paint you a little picture is because I used to live with my mum which was on the other side of where the wood is so the whole area where I live is kind of in a semicircle and I used to live on the other side of it and when I moved out with my boyfriend we moved into a house literally 30 seconds away from my mum that was around the semicircle on the other side and it was where we lived and behind where we lived the wood. When we moved into the house we still had no idea the wood was there. Obviously there were trees behind the house but we never really knew how many and there was also a path that we didn't really get to explore because we were quite busy until 
March, when I think everyone knows what happened in March, the whole world shut down, which was really horrible. And we had to work from home. And because we were allowed out for one walk a day, we decided to explore this little path. And of course, it ended up in the woods behind our house. And I was just absolutely amazed by the wood. It is huge and so diverse in what it has to offer. There are parts with huge fir trees, there are parts with silver birches, there are parts with a little brook going through and it really took me back to childhood Alwyn when I was in the playground playing and using my creativity and my vivid imagination the thing is, it was real now. It was it was a dream because I could actually be somewhere and be in my own head. And I think that it was really, really healing for me, especially because I just moved out and we just found the wood and it was locked down and it was quite a scary time. So I found, yeah, that really, really helped, along with obviously making these YouTube videos, which has been really fun. And of course, all of these places had such a different meaning and purpose to me. And I really could see the magic in everything. So that's why I created the map, because I just didn't want to forget it. And I wanted to make something special of it. And if you haven't already seen that video, I'll leave it in the link below, as I've made a huge map of the forest. But anyway, the wood gave me such a magical feeling when I was there, that when I came home, I really wanted to create that feeling at home because why not? And that led me to create videos and things such as the cat tree stump bed, the tree, the huge canvas and a few weeks ago the Halloween video which I'm not too sure I want to keep those um, vines going up the dining room table because I said they were just for Halloween but let me know what you think if I should keep them for all year round. I'm pretty sure I should, to be honest. But I'm basically not going to stop making videos on that kind of stuff. I just want to transform my home into this amazing woodland scene and I'm looking forward to bringing you on the way because I have so much more creativity and inspiration. So the next thing I'm going to show you in this video is a little DIY because I wanted to take you on the journey I go through every time I find inspiration in the woods and all the way through it to when it's actually a finished product. So I hope you enjoy this little DIY in which I create a beautiful little sculpture oak tree in my home. So to gain inspiration for this craft, I first went on a walk with nowhere specific in mind like I normally do. I basically wanted to see what drew itself out to me. Little did I know it was going to be this beautiful oak tree. I loved its twisting branches and its grandness and its ability to make me feel so insignificant. When I arrived home, I meditated on the idea for a while and drew up a design. I didn't want to make anything too elaborate this week, so I decided to make a miniature sculpture for my altar instead. After I decided on what I was going to make, I looked through my craft box to see what I could work with to create the sculpture. I honestly really just choose things that I have as opposed to buying new things. For this tree, I chose a little glass vial, wire, plaster of Paris, clay and paints. I first filled the vial with a torn up oak leaf that I collected from the tree. You won't be able to see this when it's finished, but I thought it would be more meaningful to me this way as I would always have a piece of this oak in the sculpture. I then created the branches by twisting wire and separating them at the end. I placed these in the middle of the vial and then wrapped more wire around this to secure it. I also added a few roots at the bottom. Next I wrapped the whole sculpture in plaster of Paris and once this was dry I wanted to on the trunk of the tree and for this I used clay and a clay tool. 
I then painted the tree the beautiful deep dark wooden tones of that of an oak tree. And lastly, I made some cute autumn leaves with this leaf cutter. And it truly is one of the cutest things I've made in such a long time. And it cost me barely anything to make. The only thing all of these crafts consume is time. So there are a few other things I wanted to address and one of them is actually my voice. Interestingly enough, a lot of you guys love my voice and I'm very grateful for that so thank you if you've commented on my voice. It's not always this deep, I'm kind of making a little bit deeper and smoother obviously because I want you guys to enjoy and feel calm in these videos. I am a huge fan of ASMR, let me know if you guys are too. I literally listen to videos every day, every evening or when I want to calm down and I'm a huge fan of how their voices are so smooth and soft and I just wanted to recreate that. One more thing is the music in the videos. I create and write all of the music for the videos and I use the piano. Piano is something that I love to play. I actually do that as my job in real life. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the music too. I've tried to make that as calming as possible. But yeah, that is it. I really wanted to give you guys an authentic video just with me face to face as I feel like a lot of you have seen me prancing through the forest as a forest dweller, a forest elf. And I love doing that. I love being a forest elf, but I also love showing you guys who I really am. And I felt like it was time to do that video as I've literally accumulated 4,000 of you guys as of this morning so thank you so much. If you want to get to know me a little bit more and of course I want to get to know you guys a little bit more too, I am on Instagram and you could follow me on there. My Instagram is Arlowin Oak so I hope to see you guys over there but yeah thank you so much for joining me if you've made it this far. I will see you in the next video where I'll be doing another DIY so have a lovely week and I'll see you soon right I think I'm done